morning from sunny Wilmington, North Carolina. I am Angela Bachelor with Coldwell Banker Seacoast Advantage. I was a top three finalist in the 2012 Real Estate Staging Association's Realtor of the Year. So I am a huge advocate for staging and um, love to share with other real estate professionals, other staging professionals, um, the results that I've had and some of the hurdles that I've overcome. So Kim here at Prep This House had invited me to shoot a quick video and talk with you about some of the things that can help you in implementing staging into your business. And the thing I want to talk to you about today is knowing where your business stands, knowing the results that your clients can achieve by working with you. And so I encourage you, if you're a real estate professional, go back, look at your results, look at each listing that you've taken over the last 12 to 18 months, and evaluate what did those clients do, what did they not do. Maybe some of them staged, maybe some of them did not. And be able to articulate that value, be able to articulate the results that your clients will receive when they follow the process that you've laid before them. It's difficult talking to sellers about staging. I, I get it. it something that does cost money um, in an economy and in a real estate market where a lot of people are not getting the results that they'd like to see when they sell their home. So what's vital is that you know the results that your clients will achieve and you're able to compare them to the average or to the competitors that you have in your market. One thing that I'll tell you to look up, it's very key, is to look at your average days on market. How long does it take you to sell a home? How long does it take the average Wilming or average area real estate agent to sell a home? I'll give you an example. In the Wilmington, North Carolina area, when you look up in our MLS, the average days on market are 154 days. So it takes 154 days for a seller to sell their home in Wilmington. Now, when the seller lists their home with me as a real estate agent, I am able to list their home and sell it, get it under contract in an average of 27 days on market. So I'm able to sell a seller's house five times faster. But knowing that information is critical. It is a vital statistic I can share with my seller and it also allows them to see if you follow the process I've laid before you, I can tell you these are the results you'll see. If you don't follow that process, well, I'm not sure we can get you the results you're looking for, and we may not be able to sell your house at all. So those are the numbers and, and, and those are the statistics that you're really going to want to know, and you're going to want to know them all of the time. So I would say average days on market is a very good statistic for you to share with your clients, but I would also encourage you to look at your average list of sales price. What are you listing a home for and what is it selling for? And comparing that to the average list of sales price within your local MLS. Um, an example for our local MLS is that clients who are selling their home for the average agent in our area are going to receive just shy of 94% of what they list their home for. But clients who list their home with me, I'm able to show that they are able to get 98% of what they list their home for. And that's just an average. So some clients may receive a little bit more. Some clients may receive a little bit less. But it's a key component to my presentation because clients need to know, what are you going to do differently for me? And if you're a staging professional and you are a thinking about ways that you can talk with real estate agents about staging. Pull the numbers on them. Go into your local MLS and look at what are your agents doing? Are they hitting their numbers? Are they totally missing the ball? And when you look at that, you can help them grow their business. When you help others grow, whether it's your sellers getting more money, being able to afford a living in a different neighborhood, or whether it's helping a real estate agent as a staging professional, whether it's helping them understand how they can grow their business, well, you'll be doing a lot better too. So these are my thoughts. I'd love to hear your comments. Feel free to leave them right here on the blog, or you can email me at Angela at AngelaBachelor.com. And be sure to check out my website at SellingYourNest.com. Thanks for having us, Kim. We look forward to blogging again on Prep This House. Music